Hey, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Ghost of Tsushima Legends. And today, I wanted to talk about some of the legendary items that myself and the team have had dropped for us so far. If you guys caught our last video, you'll know we've been playing this quite a bit. We've basically blitzed through bronze and silver and gold, and we're pretty much max gear score, basically just waiting for the raid. And in our playtime, we have had a chance for a few legendary pieces to drop, so I thought it'd be fun to just showcase what they can do. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. And let me know in the comments down below, what legendaries have you got so far? Have you got any that we haven't listed in this video? Definitely cannot wait to see. So to begin with, let's start off with the one that I got to drop. Unfortunately, I haven't really got any of the really good ones, but I have got the Spirit Kunai, which obviously it's in the name, it's a kunai. So it is, of course, one of your ghost weapons. I will say it's kind of a little bit annoying because kunai don't do that great a damage. So if you want to kind of get the kill shot with them, you do have to weaken the enemy first. But either way, the Spirit Kunai has a special bonus whereby getting a kill with the kunai lowers all cooldowns on your character by 15 seconds. So it is pretty cool in that respect if you want to be able to use your abilities more frequently, especially if you pair it with something in your skill tree that also reduces your cooldowns, then provided you get the kill, it is actually pretty beneficial. It's just the fact that you have to have enemies being pretty weak before you even consider using a kunai, so it's kind of a bit hit and miss. Of course, keep in mind, much like any other piece of gear, you can reforge these, but the unique behavior, the unique kind of legendary perk will remain the same. So while you can reforge the uh, gear level and also the smaller bonuses, that perk will always remain constant. Moving on from there, jumping over to uh, 269's character, the Assassin. He got the Touch of Heaven to drop, which is a legendary sticky bomb. I absolutely love the sticky bomb as one of the ghost weapons. It's just fantastic, great for CC, great for dealing damage. It's just one of my favorite ghost weapons. But this one is rather interesting because it's a sticky bomb that also heals allies on hit. So you can basically just use it for good damage, use it for the fact that it's just a great slot or great item for this slot, and uh, also be useful in the process. Moving on from there to Vesmore's character, who is of course the Ronin, he got a legendary sword, which is called Yoshitsune's Hand, which is a sword that by default has the water stance, but it also has this rather interesting bonus whereby staggering a target has a 30% chance to cause knockdown, and basically when they get put into that knockdown state, they're in a position where you can effectively execute them, so it actually makes kind of dispatching some of the sort of tougher enemies pretty useful, provided you can get this to proc, and uh, yeah, it's definitely kind of nice for some of those higher level activities. Jumping over to Paradise's character, the Hunter, he actually got the most lucky out of all of us and he got quite a few legendary items to drop. So the very first one is a legendary charm called Benkei's Last Stand. This one has a 15% chance to ignore arrow damage, so pretty self-explanatory, but you know, charms are more sort of passive things. Meanwhile, on one of the ghost weapons, he also got Demon Seeds, which is a set of caltrops, and the legendary bonus for this one applies weakened to affected enemies. This is actually pretty nice. I was kind of sleeping on caltrops for a while, just because they might not necessarily do as much like initial damage. However, applying weakened to enemies is an absolute game changer. It's a perk that the Ronin can do, you know, as a class ability, but having this on caltrops that you can just drop in a group, apply weaken, and then use some damaging moves is actually pretty nice. So uh, definitely good for some of the survival runs where you tend to get rushed on the points. On top of that, he also got a legendary bow called the Weightless Spirit, where arrows do not descend. Pretty simple this one, but basically it just means that if you're firing from further away, you don't have to account for the drop off and just, you know, aim above the enemy's head. You can just quite literally put your crosshair on them and uh, they're dead. I mean, provided you can aim. However, more interestingly, he also got the Skipping Stone Bow, which is incredibly good. This one is, I mean, from the bows we've seen so far, Probably one of the best ones. The bonus on this one is the headshots ricochet to a nearby enemy. Now that in itself sounds all right. You're like, okay, cool. I land a headshot, bounce to a nearby enemy, fine. It doesn't stop there. This also extends to some of your uh, class abilities and your ultimates. See, it's worth noting that uh, you can use special ammo with this. So you can ricochet a flaming arrow to nearby enemies, which goes far. But if you then take your Eye of Uchitsune's shots, which of course is your ultimate ability, the one that basically just like insta kills three enemies, this will also bounce to nearby enemies, so you basically get six shots instead of three, and if you happen to have used the skill in your skill tree to up that to five, you could potentially get 10 shots out of this. So this is a, a very, very nice skill. Also don't forget you happen to have the other skill, which is the pinpoint one where you have a 50% chance for body shots to just count as headshots, so there's a lot of interesting potential with this item. Now, outside of that, I did want to include three more legendaries in here. Shout out to OG Chocolate on the Arax Gaming Discord. He posted some screenshots of the legendaries that he's been getting, and uh, these are pretty cool. 
First up, he has Kenji's Shared Brew, which of course is a uh, healing gourd. And this one also heals nearby allies. So if you happen to be using it, you know, you can just act as a healer, which is kind of nice. He also got Lost Breath, which I really want this one. This just sounds really useful because it's a charm where instead of taking fatal damage, which would otherwise kill you, you'll heal for 50 health and this can occur once every five minutes. So while yes, there is a decent cooldown, it's basically just like guts in Monster Hunter or just like a free save from death. And outside of that, he also got a legendary blowpipe, which is Heaven Sting, and darts have a 20% chance to instantly kill non-Oni targets, which uh, is great for just dispatching trash mobs. So yeah, that's a little kind of look at some of the legendaries that we have encountered ourselves, we've got ourselves, or we've seen. And uh, again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys have got. Tell me what they're called, tell me what they do, and uh, also let me know how you guys are enjoying it. I'm just, you know, for a free update, I'm having a load of fun with this, and I definitely can't wait to see what the raid has to offer, so uh, keep it locked for plenty more. Thanks for much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.